Hi everyone, my name is Ashad Khadra and today I'll be showing you how to make a Python program. Let me just show you the objective of this week and we'll get started. Okay, so it says that the objective of this program is to take the number of kids for a field trip as an input. If there's more than eight kids, then we'll print that there, can, uh, that there can't be more than eight. If it's less than that, we'll take the name and address of the kid and find the cost of the field trip. Travel costs will be $15 per kid and food costs will be $12 per kid. Okay, um, so the best way to approach this type of problem, problem is to use an if else condition and inside that we'll be using a nested for loop. So first, uh, before we do that, let's just create a variable called the numbers of kid. uh, kids. So number of kids equals int input. Enter the number of kids. Right now we'll be using the if else condition. So if number of kids is greater than zero, we'll be taking and uh, we'll be like printing that the number of kids. Sorry, um, the number of kids for the field trip can, cannot uh, be more than uh, than eight. Okay, and then we'll be using the else. Um, so inside that else uh, over here, we'll be using a for loop. So for i in range of zero to the number of kids. So this for loop will continue on until the number of kids has uh, has reached and we're done with whatever like they have said. So for i and range zero to number of kids, we're gonna be taking two variables over here. So the name and address. So name is equal to input of so Enter the name of the kid and then address equals input to their address. Okay, and now we'll be taking two variables. We're going to be taking uh, the cost of the field trip. So the travel cost will be, uh, will be one. So it says that the travel cost will be $15 per kid. So 15 multiplied by the number of kids. And the um, food cost is equal to $12, uh, so number, 12 times the number of kids. Um, so now we have to um, um, like print it out. So we're gonna be printing over here. So um, if we want it to show at the end, so we wanna show it at the end what the cost will be. We don't want it to show every time that we've like entered the name of an address of the kid. So we're gonna be putting it over here that um, we're gonna be printing the the total cost of the field trip will be um dollar and then we're gonna be putting the food cost plus the, the travel cost it's more efficient this way because we don't need to create another variable instead so we'll be saying so enter the number of kids like say Let's just make it short for right now because if we make it like a large number, it'll just keep going on until it's the it end. So let's just say like two for now. Um, right. So, oh, sorry. So it's not the uh, the it's not as uh, eight. It's actually it's not zero. It's actually eight. Um, one minute. Let me just try it again. Okay. So the enter the number of kids, like two. So enter the name of the kid, say like Brian, and then the address we don't really know. So just say whatever. Um, let's say Lucas, whatever. 
Okay, so the total cost of the field trip will be $54. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, working right now. Uh, this is a good start, but if we want it to show like separately what the food cost will be and then the travel cost will be, we can make it, uh, we can make two separate print statements instead to be more specific and everything. So let's just create a new one over here. Um, so we'll just be copying, pasting it over here. Okay, and now we'll just uh, put two print statements. So we'll be taking out this. So, so the travel cost of the field trip will be travel cost and then print the field cost of the field trip will be um, the dollars, right? Uh, so food cost. Let's say Python program for now. Okay, so enter the number of kids. Um, two. Enter the name like Brian, Sean, Lucas, um, whatever. Okay. So the travel cost of the field trip will be $30 and the food cost of the field trip will be $24. Okay, so it looks like it's working so far. So in this lesson, we learned how to make a for loop inside an if loss condition. And also, uh, and so yeah, that's uh, like basically what we learned today. Um, I'll be uh, back with another um, Python program next week. Uh, so, uh, but thanks for watching. Bye, thank you.